There's nothing broken, there's no sign of concussion. And yes, you are coming in sick. Where are we? Overspilled pipe, and a guess. Oh, 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 that's not the pipe. Oh. Oh. Jack. One door, one door switch, one condition. We forget everything we saw. Look familiar. That's the carrot. Oh, here's the stick. There's a creature living in the heart of this ship. What's it doing? No, that's not going to work on me. So come on, big old beast below decks. And everyone who protects gets shoved down its throat. Is that how it works? Oh, stop it. I'm not leaving and I'm not forgetting. And what are you fellas going to do about it? Stick out your tongues? Huh? I'm sorry. Then who and what are you and how do you know me? You're a bit hard to miss, love. Mysterious stranger. A man consistent with higher alien intelligence. Care of an idiot. I've been brought up on the stories. My whole family was. Your family? They're repairing. Doesn't take them long. Let's move. The doctor. I'm drinking buddy at Henry 12. Tea and scones with Liz too. I think he was a bit on the fence about you, weren't you? Knighted and exiled you on the same day. And so much for the virgin queen. You <laughs> bad, bad boy. Liz 10. Liz 10, yeah. Elizabeth the 10. And down! <laughs> I'm the bloody queen, mate. Basically, I rule. <laughs> Oh dear, there's these things. Any ideas? I'll try some of these up top. There was a hole in the road like it burst through like a, a root. Exactly like a root, it's all one creature, the same one we were inside. Reaching out, it must be growing through the mechanisms of the entire ship. Oh, like an infestation. Someone's helping you, feeding you, feeding my subjects to it. Come on, gotta keep moving. I'm the queen, mate. <clears throat> I'm the queen, mate. I'm Liz 10. <laughs> the beast below. Yes, um, she was the queen. I can't quite remember the the details of how that was, but bits are starting to bob back into my beast below. <laughs> um, I thought that sort of scene in the sick was rather gruesome, wasn't it? And uh, those uh, robot things, I thought their expressions were quite uh, scary, weren't they? I, I remember thinking that I didn't think this was as strong a story as the opening uh, of the series, the eleventh hour, but having just seen that clip again, I, I wouldn't mind um, revisiting it actually, because I think um, it perhaps stands up better than I remember. Um, but uh, yes, I, I've got a feeling it's something to do with a, a, a spaceship, um, the the Empire traveling through space and. Uh, I think we end up um, having a reveal that the uh, the bowel of the spaceship is a huge whale. <laughs> it sounds quite a, quite ridiculous as a concept, doesn't it? The whole story, but um, there's I remember there being quite a lot of 
sort of threads to it. Um, and there were some children that starred in it. And um, apart from that, I can't really remember much more about uh, this one, um, except it was something to do with voting and you had to press whether you chose to forget or to remember. And I think there were consequences about possibly choosing to remember. Um, and uh, Liz Tenge, obviously a uh, descendant of her match, the Queen. Oh, yeah. Something out of EastEnders, perhaps? <laughs> I thought she was quite funny, actually, the actress there who played uh, Liz Ten. Uh, you're a bit hard to miss, love. I'm the Queen, mate. <laughs> and, of course, this is Amy's uh, first trip in the TARDIS, isn't it? So uh, a whole new world is sort of beckoning uh, to her. Um, and uh, Matt Smith sort of obviously relishing the role and uh, yeah, I thought he put up a, a, a good performance uh, facing off those uh, those robot creatures. Mm. But I think the, uh, the thing I remember most about this one is uh, Liz Tenlove. I'm going to have a cup of tea, is that all right? 